Okay, with this video, what I'm going to be doing is making a tombstone for one of my, a character in one of my favorite shows uh, from the Game of Thrones, Eddard Stark. And so I'm going to do this, it's going to be a 24 inch high by 18 by 1 inch thick. And let's go over here to clip art. Grab a 2D vector of a tombstone. Put that over there. And we're going to go ahead and make it bigger. We're going to basically fill this entire thing up. It's going to be just about 24 inches tall. And just about 18 inches wide. Okay, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the drawing tab and I'm going to go here to offset and layout and I'm going to put a three quarter of an inch border on the inside. Alright, now there's going to be the basic outline of my tombstone. All this in the middle is going to be carved down except for the text. So what I need to do now is fill in the actual substance of the text and I'm going to do that in this text tab right here draw text all right now I'm going to start off with his name Ed E D D A R D Stark oops A R K and we're going to make that nice big text. We're going to actually, I'll size it over there. So let's, oops. So we're going to apply that. And we're going to move it up there. And, oops, stretch it out just a little. No, no, it's too close to the top. I want to keep it away from this as much as I can. But he's got a lot of stuff to write about, so I need to make it big enough, but small enough to where I can still fit everything else that I want to write in on it. Bring it down just a little. There. I think that's probably close enough. Spell it right. E D D A R D. Yep. Okay. So now I'm going to put underneath, I'm going to put his nickname, which was the Quiet Wolf. Slash, and then I'll put Lord of Winterfell. Actually, I'll put, I'll put Lord of Winterfell in parentheses. And then I'll make that just a little smaller. I'll make that like one inch text. Um, try bold. See what that looks like. Actually, I don't think my editor Stark is actually centered. Here, you know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna. Okay, so that is the center. Now I just gotta move it straight up. Close enough. Yeah, I think that's better. Maybe a little more. Ooh, 
something about the K over there just doesn't look right, but I haven't figured out how to center it like that. Unless maybe if I drew a separate line and then centered it within that. But I think it's okay. I think what I'm gonna do now is just slide this over a little bit. Oh, you know what I'll do? I'll come over here and I'll grab this uh, measuring tool. Uh, and that is about 2.6. It's pretty close. Oops. Yeah, I think that's close enough. Oops. Uh, let's do this. 2.1 Yeah, that's close enough. Oops, whoa. Alright. Now I'll put his other nickname. Actually, yeah, I don't know. Is I right on uh, Wikipedia that his nickname was the Quiet Wolf. But I don't know if I really need There's a lot. He's got a lot of siblings. We'll just start with mother and father. Father was Edard Stark. Mother How you say it? Stark. Oops. And then siblings. Actually, you know what? I'll I'll put brother. Oops. Then I'll put Brandon and Benjamin. Stark, sister, Liana, Stark, and spouse. Let's put wife. Cat. Then. Tully. Sons. Rob Brandon Oops. Brandon Rick on. Daughters, Sansa, and Arya. Why? In the parentheses. The Bastard John Snow.
Okay, so let's put that over here. Oops, let's put this over here. We're gonna go half inch text for now, just because it's a lot, and I still gotta leave room for his for his uh, death date and birth date and stuff. Fill this out a little bit, make it bigger, easier on the eyes. And I want to try to get a quote in there. Probably the quote where Bran says something. I'll look it up real quick. I'll pause it and I'll look it up. But I think it's Bran says something like. About scared man being brave. And then he says. That's the only time one can be brave or something like that. So I'm going to try to get that in on the bottom if I can. But I don't know. It may not work that well. I'm running out of space. Stark, Rob, Brandon, and Rickon, Daughters, Sons of Arya, The Bastard, Jon Snow. Okay, so we'll close that and we'll go back and we'll put, oh, we'll go back and we'll put Born 263 AC. In Winterfell, 263 AC. I should put at. Oops, I'm gonna start writing it again. At Winterfell, died 299 AC at King's. Landing. Oops. We'll make this text just a little bigger, I think. Oh, wow. Oh, point one. <laughs> I wonder. Yeah, I think I'll have to leave that quote off. He's just got too much stuff to put on his tombstone. And I'm going to make a bunch of these. I'm going to try to do one for every person that has died in either both the books and the show of uh, Game of Thrones. And then I'm also going to do one for The Walking Dead for the comic and the show. Two sixty three AC at Winterfell. I think that's okay. That looks pretty good. So I guess what we're gonna do now is we're gonna close this, and what I'm gonna do is I want to get this part lower. I want all the text raised. So I'm going to select all the text. By selecting one and then holding shift and selecting the other. And then I'm going to select this inside pass or line. And I'm going to go over here to tool pass. And I'm going to go to the V-carve. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this. I'm going to, I don't know. I was having troubles getting the actual text to come all the way. And some of it would be good, but then there would be like a letter or two that wasn't very deep. I mean, you could just see like it was very shallow. So what I started doing is I started putting point zero one here, and for some reason, that helped. I don't know why, so that's just what I've been doing. And my depth is going to be a quarter of an inch. I'm going to use a, v, a 90 degree V bit. And then I'm also, for all this flat area here, I'm going to set this up for an end mill, a quarter inch end mill. And... I think that's going to do it. And I'm going to calculate this. All right, almost done. Okay, just finishing up the second tool pass, I believe. 
And there it is. Oops, get back here. Let's view it. Oh, and I have it set up to fill global, fill color. I'm using a layout for Pine because of um, that's what I have a lot of right now. I think that looks pretty good. Colons came out nice. And the R is a little buggered up there. Maybe I can go back and make it just a touch bigger. Yeah, I think so. Let's go back over here to the mat, the new view. And we're going to go back into this. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring this down. Oops, dang it. Why are you doing that? A little better. Hold on. Man, am I too close now? Whoa, yeah, that's definitely too close. Hmm. Let's try it again. Tool paths. Let's just delete these. Delete all. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing. Click one. What's it doing? Hold shift, select the rest, all the way to the inside line. Go back to tool paths, V carve, and this should all be set. I need to read it a bit. Quarter inch or an eighth inch end mill. Yep, yep, calculate. Okay, it's going to do both tool passes now. Uh oh. Did it freeze up? It might have. Not responding. Ah! Oh, there we go. Just when I was getting ready to stop recording. And <clears throat> there it is. All right, now let's see. Oh, wow, what did I do? Oh, you know what it is? I know what's going on. I have my other tool pass still up there. Yeah, I think that seems to be a little better. And I don't have it on high definition either, because it's just it's not three-dimensional. So there's a gist of that. Eddard Stark, Lord of Winterfell, father Eddard Stark, mother Lyara Stark, brother Brandon and Benjamin Stark, sisters Lyanna, Catelyn Tully's wife, Rob, Brandon, Rick, and I almost put Po uh, commas in there, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if I should or not. Brandon and Brickin. You know, maybe I'll try that. Let's try. Let's select this. Oops, let's deselect. Let's get this one. Let's go back into text. It should open everything up, and we'll put. We'll space it together. We'll put a comma. We'll go to the next one. We'll bring Rickon back and we will put it. Ampersand. And now we'll apply that. And we'll go back over here. Wait. Oh, I gotta get out of the text view. Sorry, I just knocked my microphone over. Okay, we're gonna reset this tool path. Oh no, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna reset the the, pre the preview. And then we're gonna delete these again. Uh oh, it's not responding again. Okay, so 
now we're going to go close this out. We're going to go back to the V-carve, hopefully for the last time this time. Point zero one. Oops. Eighth inch end mill. Now it's going. Okay. So let's preview visible tool paths. Rob, Brandon, and Rickon. Yeah, I think that's better. Much better. Okay, so now what I want to do is go back over here, get off of that, select this outer line, and I'm going to do the profile cut and install tabs to hold it in place. Um, I'm going to use an eighth inch end mill. And that depth one inch. We're going around the outside. We're going to add tabs. We're going to oh, that's right. That's fine. Whatever. Okay, so that means the tabs are going to be a half an inch in length, and they're going to be a quarter of an inch thick. Or that's an eighth of an inch. Excuse me. Okie dokie. Let's edit. And we're going to apply tabs, and there they are. And we're going to close this, and we're going to calculate one inch thick, cut depth. And there they are. There it is. Let's view it. One Eddard Stark tombstone. Not too bad. I'm, I'm, I got this idea, and I'm a big nerd when it comes to Game of Thrones and, and The Walking Dead, so I had to do it. I made one for Rob Stark already. I'll do another video showing that one. And then I've also made some other ones, because I plan on, like, some of these, like, I made one for, like, just less more, and then I made another one. Um, here, I'll show you real quick. Let me save this as E D D A R D Stark and we'll save that. I'll show you this real quick here. Uh oh. Do one for Aegon. There we go. Here's one. I figure some of these I can do things like this. And uh, come Halloween, I can try to sell these. As people like to do this kind of stuff. Um, let's view these tool paths. What? Oh, I didn't check. I need to put the border in or something. This one was, was just an experiment. This was the first one I did. Um, someone no one liked died as he lived alone. I thought that'd be like pretty creepy, you know. I'll do another one like found in a ditch, unknown, something like that. Found dirty, dead in a ditch. Yeah, there you go, something like that. And um, all right, well that's about all I got for this one. So if you liked it, thumb it up and share it and subscribe if you got any uh any of these you want to see i may do one of these as like a potential giveaway in the future so if you have any characters on the game of thrones you want me to get to i'm just going to start by season one and i'm just going to go back and rewatch season one and then kind of make notes of the people that died and then just do wikipedia's on them find out their information and do a tombstone for them well, I appreciate you guys watching, and check out that other video down there. That's uh, that's me milling up some of this pine here. And uh, thanks again for watching, and hope you have a good day. Till my next video, I'm out.